Hey everyone, welcome back to Tekken 7. Uh, first of all, before we start this video, I'm still kind of sick. So if my voice doesn't sound the best, uh, that's the reason why. I'm gonna try pumping up some shorter videos until I get better. Yeah, this is going to be about Tekken. You can call this, I guess, the third episode of my Noob Learns Tekken series, which has been going on for a while. Uh, but I'm not going to be focusing too much on gameplay, even though you can see me getting my ass kicked by law players in lower ranks in the video and then a dragon of as well but we're not here to talk about that we are here to talk about the recent changes that have been announced for tekken 7. tekken 7 is going to be getting some dlc but it is not dlc in the traditional sense because tekken 7 after two years of being out is finally going to be receiving a real tutorial mode now this was announced recently at a tournament in Tokyo. Uh, yeah, basically starting I think from winter, I don't think we got an exact date on when, Tekken is going to be receiving some enhanced practice options as well as the big boy, the frame data. See, frame data has been missing from Tekken for a very, very long time. People have wanted it in the game for ages. And now it is here. Uh, the interface looks very simple. There are two versions of most of these new practice modes, a simpler one and a more advanced one. The more advanced one like, gives really detailed frame data. And all I got to say is fucking finally, it is exactly what any modern fighting game needs. I've been saying this for a long time for fighting games to stay competitive in like the esports scene, they got to be accessible and making frame data accessible is the number one way to draw people in. I mean, people for looking from like a casual perspective do not think that frame data matters too much. However, if you want to seriously get better at the game, uh, it is vital, it is vital. And believe me, these types of changes are going to make uh, more people want to try the game and bring more people into the game. It's sure as hell gonna draw me in even more than I already invested in Tekken. Now, we'll talk about the quote-unquote issue with the frame data part in that it costs money. But before we go into that, I want to talk about the free features, which I'm even more excited about than the frame data necessarily. The enhanced practice options. So first of all, get the simple one out of the way. There are going to be more sample combos. Uh, in fact, they said that each launcher for each character is going to receive kind of a basic, an intermediate and an advanced sample combo. And I say, again, finally, uh, one of the issues with the sample combos in Tekken is that they were never really that practical. I mean, I've never seen an actual pro player use any combo path that was even remotely similar to the combo paths outlined in the samples. It looks like they're going to be looking at what is used and making the sample combos around that. And that's really great because oftentimes it's kind of annoying having to look up, you know, combos for characters and some shit is like out of date and doesn't work, there's more optimal stuff, it's a hassle. Next up, the tool I'm most excited about, the Punish tutorial. I mean, this, this is just genius. I mean, if you don't know what this mode is, they took 10 of the most used moves, or they will take from every character, and the game will show you the optimal punish for these moves. This, I think, is going to be the biggest thing that will improve people's overall skill levels. And I gotta say, every fighting game has to have this. I would say especially a game like Tekken has to have this, because Tekken, as we all know, has like 80 to 100 moves per character. One of the most difficult things to figure out is how to punish stuff and how to counter things that you get hit by online. And sure, one of the things with especially lower ranks is that people use random ass moves. So that is not going to necessarily be fixed by this punish tutorial. But overall in getting an overall basic idea of what to do, what moves to use to punish, this is going to be an excellent tool. And I think, God, this is going to be so good. Like, the reason these Learning Tekken series videos have been so infrequent on the channel is because honestly, Learning Tekken is kind of difficult, uh, especially Tekken 7. Like this game, as complex as it is, does no hand holding at all. It's been probably my biggest criticism of this game since day one. 
the fact that they released a game so complex, which clearly drew in a larger audience, even way at the start when the game came out, you know, when Tekken wasn't so big, even then the audience was big. And they just gave you nothing, uh, sample combos, that's it. And I think because of that, a lot of people kind of got off on the wrong path uh, in terms of learning Tekken. They maybe got to a point, they started getting their asses kicked by people who know, knew what they were doing and they just gave up. Because again, as I say, it's a hassle to learn this game. You gotta like find a YouTube tutorial, something that is relevant to the current patch, to the current season, to your character, something that's not just like a combo video. Uh, some of these in-depth character tutorials stretch for like uh, an hour to hour and a half. Then you gotta do things along with it. Uh, the guys like reading donations or whatever, you know, like it's 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 whatever. It's not against any of these content creators, but it's a hassle to learn this game. And these steps that they're taking now is exactly the type of thing needed to counter the hassle of learning Tekken. I think in terms of keeping the audience of Tekken engaged, because this game has gotten so big, they couldn't have done a better thing. I think the devs realize that a lot of people are watching Tekken, but maybe not as many people are playing it. So this is an attempt to counter that. And I hope that every Tekken game going forward is going to have this type of tutorial. Finally, the match replay I'm also really excited about. Basically, you can record your matches and the game essentially in some basic fashion points out your mistakes where you could have punished, where you could have countered. Again, just giving you, feeding into the knowledge of what to do. I feel like this is gonna help even more because, again, you can record the matches where you're getting hit by some random ass shit, as I'm doing in the clips of these videos in the background, and the game will hopefully let you know uh, what to do. Or give you some basic idea, at least. This is, this is so good. They really have been listening to the community. I know people are divided on Tekken sometimes, even now, Akuma, is he OP, is he not OP, like, he's boring, this character is bad, that character is bad, B sure, but no other fighting game is getting this much love this late into its lifespan, and the fact that they're releasing such an update really shows something. Finally, I gotta talk about the big elephant in the room. The biggest thing that uh, people have been complaining about is that the frame data is logged behind a paywall. So I think you gotta pay $4 to get the frame data. The other stuff, the tutorials, the punish training, etc., that will be free as far as I know. However, pure frame data, that is gonna cost money. And honestly, listen, normally I would be against these things. You know I hate when devs lock away uh, things that should be in the game behind the paywall. However, here I am willing to give them a break. The reason I am willing to give them a break is because they did put a lot of data into the game. I mean, apparently frame data was not freely available and they had to kind of draw from each character's moves and enter the frame data. Listen, I'm not gonna like get into whether it's true or not. I know third-party frame data apps exist, but in terms of getting it into the game, I guess they had to do some coding, which took probably more development time than, you know, just putting the hit counters and the punish counters in, or that type of tutorial. So listen, it's $4. I mean, sure, it's DLC. It should be in the game already. But what it shows to me is that they have learned their lesson. They have learned their lesson that stuff like this should be in the game. If the next Tekken comes around, whether it's like Tekken 8 or Street Fighter X Tekken, whatever the, ne the next game is, if it's not included in that game and it's like day one DLC, then we're gonna have a problem. Then we are going to have a big problem. But as of now, since it's coming so late into this game's lifespan, I am willing to give them a break. Especially since you know that people are like fully willing and are already fully willing to donate like five, six dollars to streamers to complain about the four dollars on a voice chat. So listen, I'm not against it, I will be paying for it. I think this is the most significant update that Tekken has received. It is going to alleviate the biggest problem I have with Tekken, which is that this game is very, very clunky to learn. 
and very very difficult to kind of set up a good learning tool for yourself since like you have to cycle through moves set them record them whatever i think this is going to go a long way in drawing me back in and getting me to play even more so these are my overall thoughts on the update i very happy about it you know without trying to shield too much i know i sound like a shield but i swear i'm not this is gonna go a long way this is big for this game and hopefully it's just gonna help in increasing and keeping its long lifespan so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here thank you guys very much for watching make sure to like comment subscribe as always thanks for watching and peace out goodbye